since I last talked to you guys. I've been doing a really bad job at vlogging, but that's because every day we're like filming for the main channel. So it's hard for me to like bounce back and forth between the two. But yeah, on Sunday, we mostly walked around Capitol Hill. It was like 75 degrees that day. So it was the perfect weather. And we were really enjoying the fact that the sun goes down way later here in Seattle. And then on Monday, Bird actually had to work. So we spent a lot of time at the boba shop that's right next door to our Airbnb. I did some work, Bird did some work. We also met up with some friends. Oh, Bird. Hey. <laughs> you you come try these uh you know pastries. Alright. Okay, try that one first. That's the Queen Amon. I just got finished filming these for the main channel, so. Hmm. Crispy. Buttery, flaky, sweet. Sweet. Crispy sandwich. Oh. <laughs> okay, try this one. This is the almond croissant. Croissant. Sweet. Crispy sandwich. Oh gosh. Bird! Almond. Do you think it tastes the same? No. No, it tastes different, right? This one tastes like almond, that one not. That's the only difference? Mm hmm This one's sweeter. Did you like it or no? Yes, good. I thought it was really good. This is like one of the best things we've eaten so far. To me. That's fair. Yeah, so Monday, Bird had to work. We worked at the boba shop. We hung out with some friends. Our friend came to visit us at the boba shop. Then we had dinner with a different friend. And then after that, we went karaoke with some other friends. So that was a very social day for us because we usually hang out with friends like less than once a week <laughs> when we're at home. So to hang out with friends three different occasions in one day, yeah, that was a lot for our social battery, but it was fun. The karaoke place we went to was really nice, actually. It was in Bellevue. So if you guys are looking for a karaoke place in like Seattle or Bellevue area, definitely check out i think it's called 425 tasty time it's actually like a nice restaurant on the outside there's like hot pot and skewers but in the back they have these karaoke rooms that are also really nice and you can order food to your karaoke room so we ordered some like beef fried rice that was really really good and then they had like an assortment of drinks and stuff their karaoke selection was a bit limited and kind of hard to navigate but we still had fun i was scared that i was gonna lose my voice the next day because i was screaming <laughs> but thankfully i didn't otherwise the main channel would be doomed <laughs> and then tuesday was july 4th and i figured we could go to chinatown international district because you know usually places in chinatown wouldn't close for july 4th but turns out a lot of them were closed either for july 4th or because it was tuesday and they close on tuesdays so i had like a list of maybe eight things for us to go to there and probably more than half of them were closed and then we went to volunteer park that was a super nice park oh my gosh it was like golden gate park but better like golden gate park but with better views more walkable it's smaller than golden gate park i would say but pretty <laughs> and then we went to eat sushi in east lake at this place called sushi nori and then we went to my friend's house in east lake and we watched the fireworks from there and we got this really nice view but then we tried to call a lift after to get back to our airbnb and that was a disaster it was so crowded i think usually it'd be like a 15 dollars lift but at one point it was 70 dollars because of the surge pricing but anyway we got it for like 20 bucks which is not too bad and then so far today we went to the cat cafe
cafe. We went to get some Malaysian food and pick up these bakery pastries. And now we're about to head to one of our favorite places ever, Pike Place. I've been talking about the clam chowder this whole trip. Literally, it's like the thing I've been looking forward to the most. So yeah, that's our little quick recap of what we've been up to in Seattle. Hopefully I can try to vlog more, but it's just hard for me to balance both vlogging for this channel and filming for the main channel as well. So yeah, let's go to Pike Place. The next day, Bird had to work, so I spent the day with my friend Nizel and she drove us over to Bellevue, which I was really excited to explore because in all my trips to Seattle, I never made it over there. And I heard they have amazing Asian food. So we started off with these Korean egg sandwiches. I got the lox one and she got the bulgogi one and the space was also really, really cute. Then we went to Chucha Sanchen, which I've tried before in SoCal, but it's been a few years since I last tried it and it was really good. They also had these cute holders, which was a plus. They're basically like little bags for your boba. Then we got some Viet coffee and headed over to this dumpling spot that a few people recommended. They had shallow baos, spicy shallow baos, which I was really excited about, spicy wontons, pan fried pork buns, and more. We headed back towards the city and we got this absolutely delicious sandwich from Un Bien. I hope I said that correctly. The bread had a nice crisp and chew. The pork was so tender and flavorful and I loved the caramelized onions. Then we went to this cool spot that had a huge selection of games like board games, card games, dice games, and they even had different rooms like family rooms, competition rooms, and private rooms to play games in which they let you rent out. They also had a restaurant section with a whole menu of appetizers, sandwiches, entrees, and drinks so we could eat while we play. It was so much fun and a great way to spend time with friends. The next day was Friday and Bird was still working and I actually had to get some work done too. So we headed over to the university district where we quickly had some hand pulled noodles and skewers for lunch. Originally, we were just going for the noodles, but I've been on such a skewer kick this year, and whenever I see them on the menu, I have to order them. However, these skewers were just okay, and what you don't see is me getting a horrible splinter from them in my right thumb, and it was hurting so bad, me and Bird walked to Target to buy tweezers to get them out. It was so, so, so painful when Bird took it out, but thank God he did. Anyway, we went to Boba Gem because we knew they had seating for us to work and we got a winter melon drink with boba. Winter melon oolong with fresh milk and boba. 
Mm. Ooh. Light, refreshing. A lot of times winter melon is too sweet, but this one's not too sweet. I think the oolong kind of balances it out. And the boba texture is actually pretty good. I wish it was sweeter. Oh, come on. <laughs> good tea flavor. Wait, though. no, it's like a good level of sweetness. That's good. You know how most Asians like not too sweet? Bert is the absolute opposite. He's like, no such thing as too sweet. <laughs> good boba. Yeah, good. After a few hours of working, we headed to the Fremont area to grab Tarashi bowls for dinner before walking over to the Fremont Troll and also one of our favorite must-visit places in Seattle, Gasworks Park. What are you doing? Why? You look like you're doing a line dance. We just have to play country music. <laughs> <laughs> Bird, what are you doing? You know, it's like Rocky. What does he do? I don't know. Running, he go like this. Okay, so you're doing that? When we first visited many years ago, we loved it so much. It has amazing views and is such a nice place to like take a walk or chill and have a picnic. It's also fun to watch the boats in the water. They have people in party boats or hot tub boats, which I thought was really funny. And there's always people kayaking or paddle boarding. We love it so much and always make sure to visit when we're in town. Then we went back to Capitol Hill to meet up with one of our friends at a bar called The Jilted Siren, where they had lots of cold drinks. I honestly don't remember what they were called, but Bird got some sort of cocktail and I got a mocktail. Then we went to Stateside, which was really cute inside, and Bird got a yuzu mojito. And we also ordered some food here like duck spring rolls, chili cumin ribs, and crunchy chili garlic prawns. I remember them being good, but honestly, I was also making sure Bird was okay because he was drunk. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And then we ended the night with, of course, Bird's favorite, Molly Moons. <laughs> then it was Saturday, which was our last day in Seattle. So we checked out of our Airbnb and waited for Nizel to pick us up at Atulio, which is that boba shop that's right below our Airbnb. I got the peach jasmine cheese tea, which was good like I remember from last year. So it seems like the drinks here are a little bit hit or miss. We went to a highly recommended spot called Seattle Fish Guys for lunch and it was actually so, so good. The poke was so fresh and I really love the Spam Masubi. I'll definitely be back next time I'm in Seattle. Then we drove over to Nizel's place where she had donuts waiting for us and special shout out to her because these are from the flower box which if you know has huge long lines and they always sell out so we were so lucky that she offered to get some for us. Then we hung out for a while before heading to Musang for dinner which I've heard a lot of great things about. I'll save the full review for the main channel but the highlights for me were the fried chicken and the corn bibinka which is kind of similar to butter mochi. Then it was time for us to head to the airport and fly home to the bay. We had so much fun in Seattle, and of course, make sure to watch the main channel for all the food reviews. If you made it this far, comment below, cute cat cafe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!